Well, hi everyone. Welcome back to the great outdoors. And as always, thanks very much for clicking on this video. I always mention I don't have the opportunity to get out as much as I used to anymore. So I'm really excited to be back in the great outdoors. It's a totally different area in the Snowdonia National Park. Now it's in the northern part um, and I've got great views as I'm ascending uh, my route across to Anglesey and Hollyhead and beyond. So there's a bit of snow and ice around, there's some hail showers forecast. So we might get lucky, we might get a final taste of the wintry weather, albeit we're now, thankfully, I think most of us can agree, in spring and set for some warmer times. Now I did intend to take less stuff with me on this camp. I've got a 50 litre pack, um, but you know, I've got my drone slung around my neck. Um, and I have tried to cut a few bits out, but the stuff I take to film, and I like to take the drone just to get that different aerial perspective. I'm just not cracking the lightweight game, especially with all my camera gear, so um, yeah. But look, absolutely idyllic. Looking down to the Menai Strait, obviously we're in mainland Wales, and that obviously separates Wales uh, from Anglesey and it's fantastic. We'll press on. We've got some very steep drops to my left. Some sheer cliffs. If you had a tumble here, that'd be game over. Well, yeah, we're approaching the summit and then we will enjoy some more views. What a really nice hike, it's no rush. Just letting the crowds pass me by. And yeah, it's, uh, it's just great, isn't it? It's just the best thing to do, come outdoors. I like being on my own. I love the solitude. Um, and it's, it's just a totally different experience when you're solo coming out wild camping somewhere new on your own new ground new terrain and just seeing seeing what comes and here we go this is what it's all about rounding that corner and it opens up to the majestic Trafan and the glitter owl and this is why we do it this is why we lug heavy packs up and camera gear and drones because um, I don't know, I'm collecting memories for me and people that can't get out and enjoy this or can no longer get out and enjoy this. Hopefully, to a degree, these videos, you know, make you feel like you're, you're out there doing it. Yeah. When there's no one else around and you've just got the sound of the wind and these rugged peaks, absolute priceless moments. We'll press on onto the summit of this one. Now we'll be dropping down to our destination for this trip. Mm -hmm. 
that's as far as I'm going for now. I'm just going to leave that. And I'm just going to lie and relax. Oh. Oh. That's not comfy, hang on. Cancel. That's better. Oh. I'm just going to give it a few hours. <sighs> Look at that. <laughs> oh. That's what it's all about. Well, I've just made a start and got it pitched. Pretty simple. All I'm going to do now is put the crossing poles in. It's a nice taut pitch without. Um, it adds to me just a bit of extra rigidity. Um, and the poles just go into these eyelets here. You've got two. Put those clips on. And it's just good for snow loading. And I've got it set up so when I'm looking out of the vestibule, I'll be looking at the mighty Trafan and the Snowden Horseshoe. But it's a good looking tent, done well. There was an issue on this version where there was a bit of abrasion with the cross poles. So top tents I've got around this with a, a loop of Dyneema and a toggle. So you don't really need the cross poles. I mean, it's pretty stable without. About 20 mile an hour winds at the moment. And because it's got these carbon fibre struts in each corner and in the centre at the head and foot end, it's a very rigid structure. Well, once you do this, you don't over tighten them, you don't need to. It lifts the inner slightly also and adds slightly more headroom. And if you don't want to take the crossing poles for extra weight, Got another guy lying onto here, it goes up to a trekking pole and then back down and again that acts to lift the inner away and give you a little bit more headroom. But what a pitch, what a fantastic amphitheatre we have before us. So I'll just get the other clips in and we'll get our gear in and start making it our home from home. So that's it. The standard tarp tent scarp one with the optional crossing poles pitched overlooking the Ogwin Valley here in the Snowdonia National Park. All I've got to do now is get my kit in, I'm starting to get a little bit cold. Well, yeah, it's a nice pitch, it's a nice taut pitch, it always pitches well. And again, the crossing poles are a bit of weight, which may be not totally necessary today, uh, but it always pays, you know, just to be prepared, just in case. I sealed this one, or seam sealed this one myself. Um, it's quite a pleasant task. Um, it's not too difficult if you've got the right weather. So let's get inside, let's get our gear in and keep relaxing. Well, how nice is this? It's pretty much 
empty up here now and it's got a real special feel to it this area north wales especially the coast of anglesey it's very uh, lots of memories for me growing up here um, with grandparents that aren't here anymore brilliant memories especially on Holy Island, Triada Bay yeah real happy place and it's always nice to come back you know, imagine you'd have a a wind blown cornice in that in some the right conditions reminds me a little bit of Helvellyn all the spoil heaps from the slate mining in days gone by when we were a an industrial nation I'm not going there um, yeah there's some fantastic wilderness I mean there still is aren't we lucky the way we've got such a wide variety of landscapes here in the UK and you still get places where you can go and escape it all I think it's time for the first beer I said I was only taking two but I, put, I succumbed I brought three so yeah there's some exciting news some new tents coming up on MCM Outdoors there's a lovely family tent from MSR the Habitude that will be arriving soon and I've got something nice planned with the little ones for that and there's something special coming as well a surprise and if it if I pull it if I pulled it off well then wow so I think there's a little bit of weather coming in so we'll retreat batten down the hatches and then yeah open a beer better so in terms of the beers we're a nice refreshing selection heathen in a new can transient same lovely and special edition doppelganger double hopped IPA doesn't get a much better view or location to enjoy a fine craft beer well it's just starting to rain you might be able to pick up that lovely sound of the, the drops hitting the fly and there's definitely some more heading in we'll get into this one it's customary on my videos to toast the great outdoors so as always cheers to the great outdoors and thanks again for everyone that's watching this vid. Yeah, we've got some good stuff coming up on the channel. We're going to try our hand, and this was, but it was an epic fail. Only in terms of, I wanted my drone. Um, when I'm coming to this location, I want to make sure that I capture it how I want to capture it. So, yeah, I've dragged the drone up uh, and some other bits and pieces. So in summer, um, in fact, there's a rainbow. Oh, look at this. I don't know if it's get picked up on the the camera. How nice is that? Uh, definitely a bit of weather coming in. So, yeah, I wanted to capture this area in all its splendour. And the last video did well. And um, you know when you get conditions like that the videos generally do a, a little bit better than you know yeah your kind of standard camps so hopefully this mic's working properly um, so yeah I was really pleased that how that did I'm really grateful that for everyone that give it a thumbs up 
and left a comment took time to leave a comment definitely makes a difference um, so I'm grateful for everyone that, that did that so thanks this isn't a sponsored video but some things that work well I'm going to mention them and this is the Omni 20C um, I've had a different version of this for many years um, it's got different features I'm not going to show it all now at some point I will if you're interested in it and the good thing about this um, it's got the quick charge 3.0 USB A's you can uh, have an AC adapter even on this tiny little thing DC in and out and the USB-C out which supports fast charging but it also does wireless as well so in the tent situations like this when I'm not doing anything just stick my phone on there and I can start charging away so it's useful good quality and um, it fits nicely the base of my pack so yeah the Omni 20C if you're interested in this I'll leave links below they're not affiliate I'm not incentivized to tell you positive things about it it's just something that I really rate um, and it's been a fantastic adventure partner for keeping me powered on my outdoor adventures
Well, I don't know why I do it, but the customary tell, tell you about it for the three millionth time, and then, yeah, it always smells lovely, and it's so warm. So that pouch has done a great job. So it's like a beef and potato stew, like Scouse. Um, it's very hearty, and you won't be able to make it out. And it actually looks nice and yeah, it's really warming. It's got some nice spices to it, some nice veg. So I'm going to eat it in peace. It's disgusting. I hate eating on camera, especially by that. Um, but yeah, cheers to the gods which helped me find my drone and that was so nice, I'd given up, I'd accepted it and it was like this lovely sunset and I was just getting back in my tent, I thought I'd have one last look, I was like what is that? Anyway, cheers everyone, I'll speak to you after tea. Oh, nice. 
big lenticular clouds over the Glitterau and Snowdon. Here we go! I wasn't predicted to be like this. It's done well though. And the obligatory message of leaving no trace, that's it. Apart from some flattened mossy grass well it's time to say goodbye to a fantastic wild camp again absolutely great memories made i've really enjoyed myself here in snowdonia and i've been treated to some spectacular weather conditions and tested at times as well thank you very much for watching uh, especially anyone who's watched it all the way through please if you don't mind hit the thumbs up button leave me a comment that helps me out and it's absolutely free. So if you just take the time to do that, I would genuinely appreciate it. Get the younger ones out, let's get them. Enjoying adventures, following in our footsteps and respecting the great outdoors too. I'm not sure when the next one's gonna be. Um, I'll have to check the diary. But like I say, I've got a few special things planned. So stay tuned. And thanks very much for watching. Go and enjoy the great outdoors yourself. Get out and do this. It's absolutely magical. I'll see you on the next one and take care.